Hey everyone, welcome to the show. It's a cold and chilly day down under in Australia. Just wanted to chat quickly about um, some sad news. I'm sure you've all been following the uh, Titan submersible submarine that was exploring the wreckage of the Titanic. So many fathoms down. S so unbelievable. Um, obviously, they found it now. They found the wreckage of the submersible. And the occupants will uh, obviously are deceased more than likely imploded under pressure um, first before I say anything I hope everyone agrees that any loss of life is is the primary thought and that's the thing that we should certainly all understand no matter what the circumstances are nobody deserves that and uh, talking about it now I suppose is different than it was yesterday this story got a lot of flack because the uh, uh, Ocean Gate, that's the uh, company, the submersible, uh, was hired out by uh, a few billionaires, thrill seekers, and uh, there's plenty of those in the world. A lot of people were, were making comments that these guys obviously have too much money and too much time on their hands, and they're just doing this because why not? They have the money and not really uh, taking the seriousness and threats of life and dangerous situations seriously. Look, it's it's not necessarily just billionaires that do that. There's plenty of thrill seekers. Anyone who who goes to uh, climb Everest or do something extreme, uh, that's not cheap, folks. <laughs> that's expensive. Uh, so not everyone can, can save up for that. But uh, irrespective of that, so... I would say also they went into this eyes open, uh, as anyone does, um, especially you know people who do dangerous jobs, astronauts, people in the military, anyone with a dangerous job, they, they know the risks and they do it for whatever reasons, as a career, as a passion, as money, to get paid. Um, in this case though, yes, certainly it was, it was thrill seeking and uh, uh, I suppose um, the video that was going around seems a bit more ironic now. There's a video of uh, one of the uh, billionaires reading the, um, you know, the contract and all the precautions saying uh, extreme loss of life and danger and implosion and all these horrible things. And he sort of laughed it off saying, where do you, you, know, where do you sign me up? Um, <clears throat> again, it was funny then, not so funny now. I suppose the other thing is, you know, you have to look at now the actual um, Ocean Gate um, company who makes a submarine and who's selling this adventure. Yeah, it's going to suck for them. Uh, no one's going to sign up now. <clears throat> uh, and again, that wouldn't be so bad, but unfortunately, something else has come to bite them in the ass. You know, you, you got to watch what you say, especially when you really don't believe it, or if you're just doing it to pander to, to I don't know, big government or big tech or big companies or, or to whomever. But the CEO of, of Ocean Gate was talking about uh, the team that he was building to uh, to run this program and run run the submersible. Uh, he was doing the typical. Well, I want to make sure that we create a a diverse and young and fresh team and he mentioned oh a lot of times when you see these type of submersibles and this equipment and this knowledge uh, you just see a bunch of old white dudes uh, old white dudes get a bad rap lately and it makes me sad that anyone even calls out somebody's ethnicity or race color of their skin where they choose to eat things that are irrelevant based on the job at hand but that's what he said, wanted to build a, a diverse team, uh, taking into account diversity, um, physical things, external things, skin color, lineage, rather than the skills for the job. I'm just saying, call me crazy, but this might be what happens. Um, he didn't want to hire, you know, submariners, he didn't want to hire people who have actual submarine experience decades of it 
Uh, again, I'm not saying that they didn't do their due diligence. They didn't have the most cutting edge technology. But when you use cutting edge technology, this is this is the thing. It's new technology. It's it's unproven. Apparently, it was a composite submarine. Usually, they use like you know serious heavy metal and titanium. And again, and until until we're there, this is you know you're on the fringe here. But regardless of the actual equipment, which which may have failed just based on the design itself or something, I'm sure they'll find out later. But to talk about the team of people you're trying to create and you don't want it based on merit, I'm just going to say that's going to be a real problem in the world at large. When I'm on the plane, I want the pilot to be the best pilot. I could care less if that pilot is black or white, man or woman, tall or short, skinny or fat. I want them to be a skilled airplane pilot. That's my primary request. You know what I'm saying? Does that not sound logical to you? If you've earned that job based on your experience and your skills and your hard work, you've earned the right to sit in that cockpit. When I go in for heart surgery, I could care less if a duck comes out. As long as that duck is the best goddamn heart surgeon I can find. Because I want him to tinker with my heart and I'd like him to be good at it, he or she whomever so again I'm going a bit sideways here because this is one of the things that that stands out for me especially when something tragic happens whether it was the reason why the fact is is that video remains of the CEO saying wants to build the team make it a diverse team not a skilled team not based on experience or merit <clears throat> you know I have a team of people at my work. They are all absolutely multicultural and diverse. Different religions, different races, different genders, men and women all working together, and they're an amazing team. You know how that happened? It happened naturally, like anything in life will. They were all hired based on merit, their skill, their suitability for the job, their experience. And based on that, they all came together, and by natural selection, like any job on earth, a mixture of people emerged. That's how that works. You want people for a specific job, you train them, or you make sure they have been trained, or you make sure they have earned the right to, to have that job, they want that job, and they're the right fit. Personality, experience, so many factors that have nothing to do with the color of their skin or their gender. T call me wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. So, look, that's one aspect of it that's going to get called out, I'm sure. You should get the best people, period. Irrespective of anything else. You should get the people who are the most knowledgeable about submersibles and submarines. You want that experience. If it turns out to be white dudes or white chicks, I I don't know what to tell you, but I do hope that you check their credentials, first and foremost. So yeah, that's that's one of the things. The other thing which I thought was a bit sad, and now I'm sure this will get talked about today, one of the billionaires has a stepson, and that stepson uh, posted on Instagram, I think, that uh, uh, he uh, he was at a concert. And he said, oh, I know this may seem a bit crass, but, you know, <clears throat> my, uh, my family would want me to be here regardless, even, even though this is a trying time, rather than being at home and, and worrying. They'd rather I was here having fun. Maybe it's a generational thing, I don't know, but I'm going to go with, no, you spoiled little shit. You should be at home sad. You should be at home worried. You should be at home checking the news for every update. You should be surrounded by family. You should be seeing what it is you can do if you can't be on the scene. You should be trying all you can and focused on your family. Whether it's your stepdad or real dad or whatever. If you love that person and you respect them, you should be worried about them. But no. Typical with a lot of <laughs> the generations today, I don't know. 
No, no, they'd rather I was at this concert having fun because they know how much I love the band. Sure, you look like a dick now, though, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, a selfish little dick. I'm just saying. So, I, I don't know. I hope if I get stuck in a submersible down by the Titanic, lost, possibly going to implode, uh, I hope everyone's just not out uh, watching Taylor Swift and uh, having a good time. I hope someone's worried about me. So yeah, that was a bit weird. Anyway, the other ironic thing is all the people, all the men and women of all different backgrounds, by the way, who also have experience and have been trained from the U.S. Coast Guard have been part of this exploration and rescue mission. The men and women who have the experience, the men and women who've earned the right, who've proven themselves, they're the ones that came together and, and found the wreckage. Ultimately, their goal was to rescue them, and I, it's, it's sad that they didn't. That's unfortunate. But again, I'm sorry to say, tell me that's not ironic that the CEO of Ocean Gate saying he wants his, his team to be young and fresh. He doesn't, he's not worried about picking the same sort of people who might have actual experience. And the people with actual experience came to save your ass. That right there is, if it wasn't so sad, it would be funny. But it's, it is sad. So, I don't know. A lot to unpack there. I just wanted to talk about that because I've been thinking about it. And, uh, I don't know, the, the thrill seeker part, what can you do? I'm sure there's plenty of billionaires who, uh, who have money to spread around and, and they want to do crazy shit like this. I do hope they research the company well and that they trust them when they put their life in someone's hands that uh, they've done their due diligence and they trust the team is experienced and they can do the job and they've earned the right to do that job. They weren't just handpicked to tick a box because ticking a box looks like might very well get you killed. I don't know. That's all I have to say for now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, a lot to think about. All right. Catch you later.